have never won the Italian League Championship, but with Diego Maradona, anything is possible. Good afternoon to you from the San Paolo Stadium in Naples. Napoli take on Atalanta. They're level on points with the leaders Juventus. And their ranks are fortified by the return of Italy's World Cup midfield player Salvatore Bagni after suspension. It's certainly not a one-man team with De Napoli, Bagni and Giordano, all full internationals, all there to dance to Maradona's tune. crowds here have been fantastic since Maradona's arrival and because of him Atalanta line up defensively. In Cocciati a striker is left out, their England forward Trevor Francis injured so Glenn Stromberg the gifted Swedish international an attacking midfield player really he'll have to operate further forward when he can. The number two Carlo Osti is favoured to get the job of marking Maradona. Salvatore Lombardo is today's referee. So they're level with Juventus at the start. How will it be in 90 minutes' time? Juventus today playing away to Ascoli, the ground where they've had their difficulties in the past. Ferrara wearing the number two. Napoli without their long-serving defender, Bruscolotti, who's injured. Guided off cleverly by Maradona to Sola. And that looked like handball. There certainly were some genuine appeals from Napoli around Barcella, who got the ball unpunished in the end, back to his goalkeeper. Atalanta down in 13th place. They finished last season well, finished eight. But they've won only one of their five games with three defeats in there as well. Whereas Napoli unbeaten, won three, drawn two. But Stromberg with a chance to get in across and Garella has to take no chances. They're not really aware of any opponent coming in, Cantaruti was the nearest on the edge of the area, but just making sure that the cross itself didn't end up freakily in the back of the net. So Atalanta, even with their defensive setup, have the first corner of the game, and it's not a good one. You have to go back to last March to find the last time that Napoli lost a league game. They have this season had their disappointment in the UEFA Cup. They went out on a missed penalty by Maradona, of all people, in a penalty shootout in France against Toulouse. Indeed, it's not been a happy time for Diego Maradona, really, off the field, as well as that mistake in France he's had a paternity suit slapped upon him there's been a lot of publicity of the kind he could well do without and the only freedom from that he seems to get is when he's out there in the middle and there's very little freedom then from those who try to stop him by fair means or foul Renica is the sweeper wearing number six Challenged by Stromberg. And the free player at the other end is Giampaolo Rossi. Too long for Cantaruti. De Napoli, who really sprang to international prominence in Mexico. Stopped by Magri in the Atalanta captain. And Limido trying to make ground down the touchline. Former Avellino player who also had a short spell with Juventus. Played a few first team games there when he was in Turin. Bruno Limido and the captain, as I was saying, Marino Magrin, who's been with Atalanta since 1981. by Sola, 
the recent Napoli signing from Bari. Brought out by Volpacina. Also joined the club in the summer. And Maradona was fouled as he got the pass away. And the cross too far ahead of those arriving in the middle from Volpacina. But the worrying thing for Napoli is that Maradona is still down. Giordano perhaps not aware of that as the game goes on. But over on the far side, Diego Maradona has a problem. It was just at the moment of impact on the ball. He lifted the pass where there seemed to be none away down the touchline for Volpecina to chase and chase the great purpose. But he fought a late tackle at the same time. And Renica with a shot that almost embarrassed Piotti. The goalkeeper choosing to take it after it had bounced and taking it right on the line. From Renica. Maradona limps back into the battle. Sola. Giordano letting it run, but he couldn't have had a call. Now, how serious is that damage? Stromberg. That's Chulo, the number six. And taken well by Bonaccina. And hit by Cantaruti. It was a chance, or a half a chance, that had to be taken quickly. And Cantaruti couldn't get enough of his foot round the ball to direct the shot on target. Last season's top scorer for Atalanta with nine goals. Volpecina. That's Chulo's header. Fernando De Napoli with the throw. And Maradona drawing two towards him, which allowed De Napoli a little bit of space, which he neglected to use. And then the harassing from Limido does finally bring a free kick. He caught Ferrara, Magrin conducting the defence, but it's Limido's name that's recorded, the stocky former Juventus man. So Maradona, yet again, paces out his approach to a free kick, which could be such a telling factor here for Napoli. Looking to make a breakthrough against the side, which is getting plenty of players behind the ball. And it's hit the post, Bagni! And then put over by Volpecina. But Bagni seemed to have no room in which to manoeuvre then. Once again, Maradona played his part with the accuracy of the clip free kick. Banyi got in front of his marker, and the goalkeeper was late going for it, and then really should have been given no chance, although the bounce was awkward. Paul Pacina too high. Magrin doing the running, and... Just getting in behind Napoli, making a break from midfield and producing a corner for Atalanta. Atalanta lost their first three games of the season, then beat Empoli and then drew with Ascoli. That was last weekend. And they're looking for something here from Lemido's corner. Congesting the area around the near post. Trying to make sure that Gorilla gets no real sight if the ball is kept reasonably low. Devilishly difficult to deal with for defenders if the service is right. Which is what Limido is trying to do here. And that's a useful one. Pushed out by Gorilla. And Giordano taking a chance inside his own area. Rather languid on the ball. Sometimes forwards can be a real nuisance to their own defenders when they drop back. They 
don't really understand often the basic principles of defensive play. And Giordano twice almost played his side into trouble. Well, Pacina perhaps still reflecting on his miss. He wanted desperately to take the shot with his left foot, his stronger foot. It might have been easier if he'd settled for the right. Benita. Sola. Oh, sudden burst of acceleration from Maradona. And Romido, with his name already taken, has to be careful. It was a rash challenge again. Diving in with the risk of studs showing. Atalanta yet again under threat from a Maradona free kick. Sola. And it was a foul by Luigi Caffarelli. Trying to turn his man as the ball arrived. It's Napoli's third home league game of the season. They've been held here 1-1 by Udinese. And they've beaten Torino 3-1. Stromberg going on beyond uh, Cantaruti. It was a... Uh, run of a gambler really and the gamble almost paid off expecting Cantaruti to win it which he did on that occasion Rossi and that's given away to Maradona taken up by Bagni Giordano that's a great effort and a goal following in was Paul Pacina. this time he didn't miss to be seen the scorer when the ball dropped for Giordano and that was a marvellous effort on the turn and Paul Pacina forced it in so Napoli have just had to wait the 20 minutes to make their breakthrough and that's not just good for them it's probably good for the entertainment value from this match because it means now that Atalanta will have to be more ambitious in their policy. I just wonder whether Glenn Stromberg, who's taking the throw, got a word from the dugout there. A bright autumnal afternoon in Napoli one of the southernmost clubs in the Italian First Division. Such a cluster of them in the north. But the sun here, watery, as it tends to get around this time of year. Autumn beginning to set in, even in Italy. Volpacina who's delighted the big crowd here. And Maradona, who will always delight them, especially with trickery like that. Headed away by Barcella. It's the capacity of Italian football to attract the talents of the likes of Maradona that makes it so compelling, and it almost paid dividends again for Napoli then. Vast sums of money invested in bringing Maradona here, but he more than pays for himself. And the greatest prize is certainly within range this season, an Italian championship. They've started well again here. A push on Maradona by his marker Osti. Pacina really has his tail up. 
Tom Berg back to help out. All a little tight in there for Atalanta. And Taruti struggling to retain possession. And then Rossi just hammers it away. Picked off by De Napoli. And now they can build from the back again with Renica. Oh, that was control from a different planet, really. But according to the referee, it came only after a push. And I think he was probably right. Brandelli. Pasciulo making ground for Atalanta. Ball somehow stayed in play. Magrins won it back from De Napoli. And it's squeezed in. Oh dear, a bad goal from Napoli's viewpoint. A goal for Cantaruti. of them stopped wondering I think whether the ball had gone out of play the referee thought not and problems then from De Napoli dispossessed by Magrin it was a splendid cross and the shot from Cantaruti trickling in off Banyu fifteen minutes of the first half left Atmosphere here of some surprise. Atalanta had only scored twice in their previous five games. And Stromberg getting good support here from Limido. Blocked by Sola. seasons with Benfica after leaving Sweden. And that's a foul acknowledged by Cantaruti. Well, Atalanta haven't won an away match since last March when they beat Verona and that day Cantaruti got a hat-trick. I wonder if there's an omen in the fact that he struck an equaliser here. Osti, Maradona getting beyond him. De Napoli, Giordano, Max didn't really need to take it first time, and he would have needed a colleague to tell him that. Never afraid to blaze away when the goal is beckoning, as we saw on the first goal. Vandelli. Temperuti showing too much of the ball to Ferrara. And trouble now for Atalanta. Ferrara dispossessing Paciulo. Caffarelli. And Bani struggling to get there. That was a dive. He knew he wouldn't get there and ran into the defender and then just collapsed. And the referee wasn't being fooled. De Napoli, the linesman's flagging. Giordano offside, and in fact the referee hasn't stopped the play with Atalanta in possession. And this is Stromberg now at his best. And that's a push by Renica. Well, rather than sit on the fact that they got level, Atalanta have become more positive having scored. Lemido with the free kick. The header from Barcella. And Prandelli unable to keep the ball in play. Ferrario. In first time from Sola. Atalanta again getting their numbers quickly back behind the ball. 
Renica and that's uh, obstruction by Stromberg really forced upon him by Renica pushing the ball so far ahead and not being able to catch up with it Muro is warming up for Napoli Colpacino with the free kick and it's hit the bar Well, frustration for De Napoli there. Found plenty of room in the congested penalty area. It looped over Piotti, but stayed out. We're into stoppage time. And Napoli not taking the corner quick enough. Well, an interesting first half indeed, with Napoli as expected going in front. The scorer, Volpecina, but against the run of play, Cantaruti equalising. It's just over 30 years since Atalanta last won a league game on this ground. But they could be pleased with their showing in the first 45 minutes. And Napoli pressing for the lead of the Italian first division. They'll just have to pull their socks up a little bit if they're going to get the two points. Desperately poor goal from their point of view to concede when De Napoli lost possession and other defenders were waiting and watching. Claudio Plandelli won three championship medals with Juventus respect to Atalanta he's not likely to add to that total with this club well, for all the juggling of Cantaruti the ball is out and it's the signal for the substitution with Chiro Muro coming on in place of Luigi Caparelli. Sola, plenty of space. Atalanta just happy to track back. Muro, who's a midfield player with plenty of promise. Signed from Pisa, although he was actually born in Naples, and he's a dead ball specialist genuine free kick expert whether he'll get much practice at free kicks he's going across to take the corner with Maradona in the team and he finds Maradona well that's the header from Ferrario I just wondered as Maradona twisted into the acrobatics whether that could be construed as dangerous play it's uh, an awkward one really for the referee up the ball goes up the foot goes but had it gone in from Ferrario, it would have counted. Stromberg beaten in the air. And Maradona came back, says the linesman, from an offside position. The great man will be 26 at the end of the month. Claudio Garella having to make the say to be sure, but in fact the whistle had gone for the earlier challenge. Renicar with the free kick. Napoli just trying to recapture the tempo of the early part of the first half. Muro, Maradona. Muro again, and he can shoot, and he does! Piotti doing well initially to beat the shot out and then to react to prevent the corner. Flicked on, Muro picking up the tempo quickly. 
not always easy for a substitute. Is Sola. Stromberg back doing the harassing. One number seven on the other. Forcing Napoli back. Ferrara. Now Renica. Ferrario. Put forward by Muro, but Giordano a little slow moving towards it. But it's all taking place now, the scenario in the Atalanta half. Maradona showing that he can tackle, but not fairly. I think uh, a boot was raised, and although he's a short man, he's stocky and strong. And that makes him difficult to knock over. long for Cantaruti, Carella is in a hurry, the goalkeeper who won a championship medal some 18 months ago with Verona. Renica, who came here from Sampdoria, in fact played against his old club last week and gave away a penalty. Ferrario. Moro. Moro's header again. And he might get it a third time in the spell from Napoli. And that was very neatly done. Vanni. But all credit to Atalanta. They're harassing and hounding. But they are giving away free kicks. And we all know what that means to Napoli. But Muro might want to be involved himself here. Is that a request for permission? You don't take free kicks away from Diego Maradona lightly. But I wonder what's passing through Piotti's mind. Got the wall to cover the near post as we look. And it's Moro. Past the wall, past the post. But it took a flick off an Atalanta player along the way. And now looks for Maradona from the corner. The goalkeeper struggling as Ferrara came in. Giordano, he'll want to shoot, and he does. And Bruno Giordano caught in a situation that really he's not used to, but he's won it back this time. And that's a good pass too. Maradona's in the middle, and it's over him, but was that a push by Osti? The crowd thought so. And Banyi coming in behind was bundled down as well. Pressure on the referee now. And the yellow card is out. I wonder whether it was shown to Banyi, who was perhaps the loudest voice. There was nothing wrong with the way he went down. He threw himself down. So Salvatore Lombardo, who comes from Masala, subject of some pressure from the home side. Muro and Maradona working the corner again. De Napoli. Sola there in support. So too is Muro. And still Atalanta just keeping Napoli at bay on the edge of the area. It's devilishly difficult for them. Maradona somehow able to win the ball and play it away again to keep Napoli going. Pulled out by Magrin. And Rossi the sweeper forward here. 
and that's offside. But it's just a little warning for Napoli in their anxiety here, chasing the game, or chasing the win from this 1-1 position. But they dare not leave the door open at the back. Giordano. Pulled back by Rossi. And it's a penalty. And the reason for the protests are because surely the offence started outside the area. Morally, the referee was right. Legally, I'm not so sure. More protests. Another card showed. Where did Rossi grab him first? It was outside by a good two yards. And that's where the free kick should have been given. Well, Maradona scored again from a penalty last week against Sampdoria to get back in the groove after his UEFA Cup miss in France, which was so costly for the club. This is very important too for Napoli's league hopes. This to make it 2-1 against a very determined opposition. Maradona scores! We've had 20 minutes of the second half. It's 2-1. Roars of delight and some relief in the San Paolo Stadium. But the job certainly isn't done yet. It's Maradona's third league goal of the season. Two of them have been penalties, and now it's a substitution. In Cocciati, the forward who was dropped for this game, comes on wearing number 16. Giuseppe and Cocciati, who played for Milan and then more recently for Ascoli. see with the free kick given away to Giordano and Maradona just turns on the spot De Napoli on the receiving end Atalanta looking to make their second substitution. They're taking off Prandelli, who's essentially a defensive midfield player, for Andrea Icardi, a midfield player perhaps with more attacking notions, signed from Milan. So both their substitutes now on. And there are 16 minutes remaining. China, beaten by Muro. Maradona's inside him. Giordano in the middle. A third goal now would surely seal it for Napoli. But that's Piotti's. Muro really not quite sure, I don't think, what the best option was. And the shot was blocked. Stromberg managed to retain the ball and his balance. Away from Banyi. 
with Spanish possession now. Oh, Pacina. Atalanta coach we saw first of all Sonetti Napoli under the charge of Ottavio Bianchi Stromberg with the throw Atalanta trying to regroup and get forward again and uh, Cantaruti didn't make it, and got a knock for his pains, and coming in behind him was Limido as well. They just have to adopt that policy and get players into the Napoli area when they can. Magri. Back for Rossi. Icardi. Limido taking on Renica and uh, playing for the free kick. That looked a benevolent decision to me. Limido with not the pace to get beyond uh, Alessandro Renica running into him. But he's got himself a free kick in a promising position for Atalanta. Magrin is something of a specialist in these situations. Picks up a number of goals each season from set plays. But this is surely indirect. So it's Magrin to take. Napoli on their toes. And uh, that didn't get very far. Played back by Rossi. And uh, there's an offside because Cantaruti is in the wars and just couldn't get back quickly enough. One of the encouraging things for Napoli is that Volpacci now became the eighth different player to score for them this season. Oh, Garella's given it away. Oh, and he's been punished for it. In Cotiati. What a catastrophe for the Napoli goalkeeper. He played it out towards Vanni, but it was easily intercepted by Incotiati, and then his shot took a deflection off Renica and sped into the corner. Atalanta in no hurry at all to take the free kick played by Stromberg and rather more disasters ahead for Napoli defensively. Carella, the most anxious man on the field to get the ball forward. The crowd baying at him to do just that. Stromberg It's the final whistle, and Napoli have dropped a home point. Bit of disappointment for them. Volpacina and Maradona's penalty on the plus side, but the mistakes by De Napoli and then by Garella costing them. So the final score, and it's a surprising one. Napoli 2, Atalanta 2.